Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to go over a very large update that just recently happened to one of Samsung's creative apps that is called PenUp. Now PenUp is an application where if you like to draw or color, either as an adult or as a kid, you're able to have a lot of fun. So through here, you can have your own template and you can do your own drawings. You can go through a photo drawing. So if you wanna bring in one of your own photos from your gallery to draw on top of, you can do that. You can also do a bunch of coloring. So here's a bunch of different images that you're able to color through. Either you can manually do it and start coloring everything in, or you can do a fill color. So everything just colors in between those lines. You have you know newest, you have popular, you also have books. Now you also have a my feed page. So this is where you want to share anything that you have done. This is a uh, example of the whole photo draw. So this way you can bring in a photo, you can draw on top of it. You also have one down over here. This is an example of that whole color fill. So you basically tap inside of the lines for it to fill in. And then you just go through and you can just see that you can have a lot of fun. So you can do this, you know, as a kid, you can do it as an adult. And then any of these images, you're actually able to share it anywhere you want to on any of your social medias. But one of the biggest changes or updates that happened is inside of drawing. So inside of drawing, this is where you can choose your canvas or a bunch of different options that you can choose from. And you just basically hit on start drawing. Now, I will let you know if you have a larger device, either a foldable device or a tablet, you'll be able to see that this is expanded a little bit more with everything that you have. The layout is just a little bit larger than what you see on any other candy bar shaped device. So with this one, this is where you can take a look at all the different brushes on the very top. So if you hover your S Pen over it, it'll let you know what it is. So that's a watercolor. This is oil paint. You have calligraphy. Or if you just want to see everything, you can tap on this little settings button and here's every single brush. So you have watercolor, oil paint, calligraphy, you have pencil, airbrush, marker, crayon, pen, as well as pattern. So you're basically with pattern just drawing a line and you're going to see that little pattern just being replicated throughout that whole line draw. Now also through here, what you can do is let's say that you choose on this one right here, which is calligraphy. There's a bunch of different options for that brush itself or that utensil. You have the dry brush, large brush, round tip brush. When you go through all of these, you can you know, see that there's a bunch of different options that you can do with every single one of them. And then on top of that, you can actually go inside of each one. So once you select one, you can go right back and then you can do your drawing. But if you tap on it one more time, you can fine tune every single thing from the stroke texture as well as the tip. So there's spacing, the opacity, the size. You can change the texture. Uh, you can change the tip. So you can have like a starting thickness, an end thickness the size so you can go through and change all of this if you would like to and there is the pressure sensitiveness of this so when you go through and let's say that you choose on something you know maybe something like this where you're just kind of like spraying something on there you will see a big difference between how hard you're pressing on the screen so different ones will actually show up a little bit different than others and some of them will you know bring in that pressure sensitivity you know larger and better than the rest and then what you can do is over here you have a little you know line of all the different colors these are just basic colors you can go through you can select them choose them do all of the drawings or you can hit a little circle on the top and you're able to really fine tune it again. So through here, you're able to choose what color you want. So if you want some reds, you can choose it over here. Uh, you also have swatches. So if this is the setup you like to choose your colors from, and you also have a slider. So this way you can go through the slider. You can go over into the blues and go to like a darker blue. And then again, you can play around with a whole bunch of stuff on the screen. Uh, and then you'd be able to go right on back and you've got your color that you chose. Now along the bottom, this is gonna be a little smudge brush. So this is where if you wanted to smudge some colors together, you can actually smudge them. This is gonna be your eraser. So if you tap on the eraser, then you're gonna just have, whoops. If you tap on the eraser, then you're just gonna have the eraser right here that you can choose from. You can change the size of the eraser. So if you want the eraser to be a little bit larger, then you can do that as well. The other thing is, let's say that you go right on the very top again and you choose anything that you wanna draw with. If you press and hold on the S Pen button, you press and hold on it, it'll actually be the eraser again, and then you go right on through and you can still draw. So it's a way that you don't have to keep going back to the top, to the bottom. So if you press and hold on the S Pen button, it'll turn into the eraser. This right here is the fill. So if you wanted to fill it with a color, so let's say you wanted the background to be this color right here, you just tap it. Uh, it's able to, you know, 
color in whatever you've done. So it's going to fill in if you've done some drawings or you can fill in the background. You also have like the back button if you wanted to go back, you have forward and you also have layers, you have a selection. And then over here on the right hand side, you have like a new canvas. You can take a look at your drafts. You can import an image if you want to have an image, a part of your drawing. You can save it, save as image. You can post it, take a look at more settings. You have reference and time lapse. Time lapse is a cool way if you wanted to record your drawing in the style of a time lapse, then you're able to actually share people the whole experience of your drawing and they're able to rewatch it back. Now, another fun thing that you can do is let's say that you go right here and you can see that I am, you know, lightly pressing it. And then if I go, you know, pressing harder, you can see the pressure points. It's able to pick everything up. So if you want to be very, very fine tuned with things, you, you can. But through here, I'm going to go through, I'm going to change a couple of different colors here. And then the fun thing is you have this little smudge button and with this little smudge brush, you're able to smudge things together. So, you know, this is really fun with also oil paint as well. So if you wanted to smudge some things across, you were able to do that. If you want to, you know, merge and blend together a couple different colors, you can do that. So there's a lot of really fun things that you can just do when it comes down over into this pen up application. And then the last thing that I want to show you is going to be this little coloring thing. So when it comes down to drawing, I'm not really good at drawing, but when it comes down over into coloring, you know, I could definitely do this. So you can actually go through and you can color everything yourself or you can just fill it in. So for me, filling in is a little bit easier. You can see how this will definitely distract your kid. It'll distract yourself. It'll keep you entertained. And so if you wanted to play around with this, you can, you can also zoom in on things so you can make sure that you are getting the exact color at the exact spot that you want it to go. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what you could do also when it comes down over into the drawing aspect as well as the coloring aspect. But pen up did have a very large update. If you don't see it inside your application tray, it might actually be inside of your Samsung folder. It's sitting there. And if you don't see it there, then you just go inside of the Samsung Galaxy store and then you're able to download it yourself. If for some reason, if you disabled it or you deleted it. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.